In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to one login. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and let's get right into the video. Now the first thing you want to do is head over to their website, onelogin.com. And once we're here, we're going to go ahead and sign up for a free trial account just so we can test out the features to see if you like the solution they have. So it's basically a access management solution uh, and it's pretty cool with a lot of good features. So we want to go to the top here and click on where it says free trial. Now from here, we have to go ahead and put in a business email and you don't need a credit card to so sign up here. And then you're gonna have to fill in some information about you, your job, your business, where you live, some stuff like that. And one thing to note is down here, you're gonna have to choose a domain name and that's gonna be a .onelogin.com one. So now that we've gone ahead and signed up for an account, you should get a verification email sent to your email. Um, go ahead, just follow the instructions. And once you have done that and created a password, you should be sent to this page here. Now we have some main setup steps that we're going to go through as these are uh, kind of essential or what they recommend doing. So first of all, you want to go ahead and add some users. Now this is um, users into your system. Uh, you can get this from a HR system. You can add them manually. Um, they recommend on a trial account you do it manually. So uh, we can either click on this one here. We can import via CSV if we want to. Uh, it's really up to us. But first, let's go ahead and let's add some users to our account. I'm going to head to users at the top here, uh, go to users and then give it a second, it might take a second to load and here we can go ahead and press new user on the top right and we can fill in all the information so first name, last name, email, we can give them a username but their phone number, uh, we can select their manager, company department title as well as some stuff like their login ID. Uh, their external ID and some comments about them. We can go ahead just fill in that information here You only have to fill in the ones with the star on which is pretty useful Press save and then you're ready to go ahead to the next steps So now that we've created a user we can actually do some more stuff under the users tabs uh, So we go to users we've got roles so we can add specific roles and inside here we can press new role uh, We can type a role so we can just say test um, and then inside of that we're able to change sort of the I guess permissions and stuff like that with the roles. Um, it's more used inside of when we're creating things. But we've got our users here. So we can manually assign a user to, user to this. And we can also add privileges. So we can uh, add privileges, remove them, depending on it. And we can also go up here and delete it. We're also going to have things like our groups. So we can group users together. Directories. Um, so we can just connect up all of the directories we might use, you know, Bamboo HR or whatever you're using. Uh, mappings, so in here we can go ahead and create a new mapping and just map uh, some of the things inside of our business. And then we've got some custom user fields, which might be useful if you've got some uh, custom things you need to add. So if we go to new user field, we can uh, put the name in here and we can add the short code name and we can set that all up here very simply. Then we have provisions and self-registration. So the self-registration here, we can create a new profile and we can essentially create a um, registration details here really. Uh, you can change this so you know the URL you go to when they want to register, the invite type so magic link or then get a one time password. Obviously one time password is going to be like a code. Um, you're going to get stuff like your domain blacklist so if you want people from certain domains not be on here. And you've also got, you know, your texts down here that you can change. This is one I'd go ahead and use. So next up, something we might want to look at is the portal tabs here. Uh, we can press new tab. And I'll just put um, test tab. Uh, we can go ahead and save this. Um, and inside here basically we can select some applications for this tab. Now first of all I would recommend going to applications and then adding some so we can go add app and we can select an app so let's say productivity uh, we can select here and then these are different productivity apps that we can add so let's say we want to go ahead and uh, can't see let's try a different one let's try something like uh, slack maybe if they have that Let's say Slack here, we can go ahead and add Slack. Uh, we can change the logos, the descriptions of that. We can save that there as an application that we want to use. Uh, and then we've got all our configurations here. So obviously we need to uh, authenticate here. So authenticate it, basically go to Slack. 
and then from here you can connect up all the details for your Slack so that you can just uh, basically one you know sign in with one click from this. Um, very easy to do. These all have like integrations that just allow you to connect them all up, so you don't have to do any you know code or anything. You might have to just put like a custom domain in or something like that, but it's nothing difficult. We have all our parameters here, our rules. Um, we have our SSO access so you can change policies you can change the roles so who can have this we can say test can have it provisions we can change it to users uh, privileges and we can even there's some setup here we can go ahead and we can save this and it might take a second to save uh, select team cannot be blank I need to fill that in then but now if we go back over into portal tabs we select the tab that we just created and we go and select slack for example we can go ahead and save that and uh, now this tab is going to connect up with Slack, um, which is very really useful. We've got our custom connectors as well, so this is ones that aren't easily integrated. Um, so you've got your sign-on methods, so it's form-based or basic or open ID. This one's a little bit more complex. You're gonna have to put all of the uh, you know different parameters in here, um, but you can set that up relatively easy. Now we also have devices here, so we can have a look at the um, devices available. And we have authentication as well, so the trusted IPs, the Windows domain authentication, VPN, stuff like that. We have our activity, so we can see reports, what's kind of going on, events, and we have our security here. So we can go ahead, um, change some authentication factors, for example, if we want to uh, enforce that people use Authenticator or use some kind of uh, protection here just to make it a little bit more secure overall. Then we have just some settings here, general settings to do with um, your business, all that kind of stuff, company overview. Um, then you have stuff like your branding. So um, you can click on the branding here and you can change some stuff, like you can change the design elements. So you've got your colors, logos, all of that kind of stuff here, as well as our email setup. We want to have um, custom domains, email, te email templates. Uh, all of that stuff basically in here you can go ahead and kind of set up and change and then we can go back here to our uh, portal and if we simply type in our domain so the one that we got given um, you can see if you just change where it says admin up here and you just put portal or even just put that it's going to take you to your portal and this is where you can go ahead and sign in with your portal here it recommends you add one login to your browser um, and you can do that just so you can one login with everything really. That's just a really basic beginners tutorial for one login. If you found it useful then be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below if it did help you out. Uh, let me know if there's any other features or anything else you'd like me to make regarding this software and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.